Hey guys, welcome back to the ESO series. Wow, thank God this week almost didn't happen, but we're here back with a new episode. So last week, um, I spoke about 11 essential tools I believe every small business owner must have. And this week, I think that really inspired a lot of people to send me messages. People asked me how they want to start, how to start a small business, how if they are to start a small business or if they have an idea, how can they turn the idea into a small business. So this week, I'll be talking about how you too can turn your small idea into a business plan. The video might be divided into two um, episodes for this week and for next week. So stay tuned with me as I tell you and I take you through the steps on how to start a business. So there's been an increasing number of startups in Africa or in Nigeria as a whole. For the past two to three years, um, Nigeria has become a home to a, a great number of small companies, young business leaders seeking for help or seeking for raising funds from government and individuals or investors. 2016 saw a year of major increase. Like, let me read this for you. 146 startups from across Africa raised 129 million, 103,200 dollars in funding over the course of 2016. A substantial growth in the number of startups to raise funding as compared to the previous year. And South Africa, Nigeria and Kenya remain the three most popular investment destinations on the continent, accounting for 80.3% of funds secured. I mean, why not? Why would you want to start a small business? There's over a, there are millions of dollars and millions of investors looking for people to invest into small businesses. Here's a reality check. Entrepreneurship is not as glamorous as it sounds. Running a business means staying up till 3 a.m. It means researching how to grow your business over and over and over again. It means um, chasing clients. It means pouring through receipts with an accountant will become your daily routine. You will eat, you will live, you will breed your business 247. And if you're not ready, it takes a lot of tenacity, it takes a lot of endurance, it takes a lot of dedication. And if you're not ready or if that turns you off, then it's time to stop watching because it takes a lot to run a business and it takes a lot of time to run a business. You need to ask yourself, do I really want to run a business? Will I have time to create or to run this new business or this venture that I want to get into? And do I have something unique to offer the market? If yes, then here are the steps that you need to take. Step one, you need money. <laughs> yes, you need money. I mean, like, I presume if you want to start a business or you think about starting a business, you don't just think about an idea. You must have had some savings and you must have had something that you must have kept aside to at least launch your business. So number one, you need money. Number two, you need a great idea. So to successfully start a company or to successfully start a small business in Nigeria, you need to have an idea and an idea that satisfies the needs of people. In Nigeria or anywhere around the world, you need to have an idea that satisfies the needs of people. So as much as yes, it doesn't end with an idea, a great idea is a way to start or to kickstart how to get into or what business you want to get into. So your idea could be around or centered around the industry that you are in, or it could be something that you're interested in doing or skills that you have and you want to actually turn into proper um, business. Having money and an idea doesn't guarantee you a successful business. An average idea with uh, a good business fundamentals surely does guarantee you a successful idea. So it could be as average as, as, as it is, and your idea could be as average as it is, but if you have a good business fundamentals and process or plan, that's what will guarantee you a successful business idea. The world has a billion people, billions of ideas, but we lack seasoned entrepreneurs. So step four, your identity. What's your business name? You need to find how, what, what name that you think is suitable for um, your company. People are going very simple these days, so it could be something very simple, something very easy, something very catchy and something that people will always remember. Same goes with your logo. Logos are going simple. People are going logos. With, uh, people are going simple with their logos. So you need to know, um, you, have, you need to have a business name or think about the business name. You need to think about what you want your logo to look like. You need to think about what your business is about. Number five step, find your location. You need to know where would you want your business to be? Would you want it to be in an industrial area? Would you want it to be in a private area? Would you want to would you want to separate your business away from every other person so you can build a brand on your own? Or would you want to put it in a central area where anyone can easily assess your business? So you need to find a location where you want your business to be. Number six, register and license your company. You need to decide which form of ownership is best for you. Is it a sole proprietorship you want? 
or you want a partnership, or you want a small corporation, or you want a non-profit organization, you need to decide which form of ownership is best for you. If you're not too sure of how to go about this, all you can pretty much do is contact a lawyer or contact a legal friend and ask for advice. There are different kinds of ownership or partnerships, or most of them will still need you to sign, uh, a partner to sign you to get uh, your company registered in CAC, Corporate Affairs Commission. So you will need to know if you want to go for sole proprietorship, which means that it's just you and you're the only business owner, or you want to go for a partnership, you want to work with someone, or you want to go for a limited liability company where you're going to have over two or three or more partners partnering with you to put together this business idea or what you see in the future if your company expands. So decide which is best for you. Step seven, you need a business plan. It is estimated that over 85% of businesses in Nigeria operate without a business plan. So wrong. The process of writing a business tool is so valuable and an essential tool in not just raising funding for your company. It helps to clarify your vision. It helps to clarify your goals and your objectives. It gives you a better way to communicate your, uh, or your idea or your plans to your clients to your investors, to your partners, or to whoever you have in contact with. It gives you a proper, or it, it tells you like, a, it gives a direction of where you want your brand to be. I mean, writing a business plan, maybe like in my next, or uh, in upcoming episodes, I'll t write, tell you more about how to write a business plan and the steps you need to take in writing a business plan. It's a process or it's so valuable that you cannot do without a business plan. And it's so wrong that if you're starting a business or you have a business idea, you need to start with a business plan. A business plan starts with taking down notes of everything like I said from step one to step six or to step one from step one to step five and then putting it together in a proper business uh, plan a proper business proposal that you want to be able to invest in uh, or you want um, investors to be able to look at and respect your business idea which brings me to step eight your business plan should be accompanied with a business proposal